Good evening. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, how are you guys? Fine, and you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. All right, guys, me van a regalar un segundito porque tengo que conectar el cable del internet, all right? Give me one second. Okay. Okay. Record. All right, guys, guys, there you go. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Let's see, where were you born? That's the topic for today's class, all right? So let's see, we have class 15. Let's check what else do we have. WH questions with did, was, and were. Now, I'm assuming that you already remember this, right? Remember that today we're also going to finish the final exam, which is pretty important. ¿Cuántos de ustedes ya terminaron el final exam? Let's check. Uh, no yet, teacher. No yet. Okay, excellent. No se preocupen porque ahora lo vamos a hacer, right? Y el propósito de eso es que ustedes lo puedan trabajar a la par mía y así resuelvan cualquier duda que tengan. So let's go. First, we're going to practice with this, right? Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica con eso porque este es contenido que ustedes ya vieron y hay que ver si lo recordamos, si lo manejamos bien, all right? So let's get into the business. WH questions with did, was, and where. Now, let's check this one. Where did you grow up? Let me, let me see. Yo les voy a ir preguntando a ustedes si ustedes van a responder, all right? So, let me check, Alba, where did you grow up? Ustedes van a dar estas respuestas. I grew up in Texas. Ah, oh, when did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. There you go, excellent. Why did you become a hairstylist? Uh, because I needed the money. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, how old were you in 1990, Alvita? I was 18. Um, what was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Excellent, there you go. Thank you so much, Alvita, there you have it. Let me go with somebody else. Let's check somebody else. What about Jose Carpio? Okay, Jose, yo le pregunto, usted responde, okay? Here we go. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Mm -hmm. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need, need the money. Excellent. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college, Jose? I, it was drama. Oh, how, was your, how was college? It was great. There you go, excellent, thank you. What about Carla Patricia? So where did you grow up, Carlita? Hello, Patty, are you there? Check. Okay. Hi, teacher, sorry. Don't worry, no se preocupe. I am, I am arriving at to my house right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm really sorry. Okay, don't worry. Um, Do you want to participate or you want to participate later? Uh, no, no, okay, it's okay. Okay, where did you grow up, Carla? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed 
the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Excellent, hey, there you go. Thank you, girl. Let's go with Elizabeth Campos. So Elizabeth, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money. Okay, repeat after me, I need it. I need the money. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your mail in college? It was drama. How was college? It was, no, it was great. Excellent, there you go, thank you. Let me check, do we have another minute over here? Or only Jose. Let's go with Sonia del Transito. So let's see, Sonia, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in uh, ninety. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was young. young. How was college? I, wa I was great. It was great. Excellent. Thank you, Sonia. That's great. All right. Si se fijan, mis, ¿por qué nos está preguntando usted, right? Quiero ver cómo estamos utilizando estos verbs que se nos dan aquí ya fijos, como el grew up, came, needed, was, and was, and was, all right? So I want you to notice the use of them, and I want you to focus when are you going to use each of them, right? Remember, keep into consideration that not all the verbs are going to be used at the same time, all right? Like in this case, I cannot meet did with was, I cannot miss grew up with was, all right? That's not missing things. So let's continue working. Let's go with Jamie. Okay, Jamie, so where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Oh, when did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 99. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Mm, how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Excellent, there you go, thank you. Let's go with Lisette Montoya. Lisette, usted no ha pasado, right? No teacher. Okay, let's go together. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Mm, when did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? It was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It's, it was great. There you go, excellent, thank you. Now, my dear students, try to focus in, not only in the answer, but also the way that I ask things, right? La forma en la que nosotros preguntamos influye en mucho también cómo la persona nos va a entender, all right? Es cierto, la gramática es fundamental. Pero cuando les digo la forma, me refiero al speaking que utilizamos, right? La pronunciation, tienes de ser clara y coherente, right? Y así la persona, pues, va viendo si nos comprende o no. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Thank you so much, everybody. Great job. Beautiful. Now, let's move on to the next part. Getting examples. Now, it says, let me check. Mayra Lopez, can you please read the guiding examples?
Okay, and este, where did Dubai, Dubai that dress? I brought it in Sarah. Mm -hmm. Number two, um, how was your weekend? It was good. There you go, excellent, that's correct. Thank now, you. ¿qué quiero que hagan con eso? Right? Una pregunta bien común que se las va a hacer que tal vez cualquier teacher cuando ustedes entran el día lunes a clase, los lunes a clase, es, how was your weekend? Alright, how was your weekend? Ya ustedes ya no se van a quedar como utilizando el simple tense, right? Simple present. No, ustedes ya saben que se van a referir al past. ¿Y qué podríamos decir? Ah, it was good, it was great, it was awful, teacher. Awful. It was stressful. Porque les tocó trabajar, it was stressful. Uh, it was good, I can't complain. Está bien, no me puedo quejar, right? There you go. Con esa pregunta ustedes tienen whew, a lot of options, right? Depende de cuánto se quieran extender o si se quieren quedar cortos con la respuesta, right? So there you go. Ahora, question number one. ¿Qué quiero que no tengo en esto que no se nos olvide? Right? Vamos a utilizar, en este caso estamos haciendo uso de las double H words, right? Pero recuerden que si tenemos el auxiliary did, mi verbo que tengo que utilizar para que mi oración tenga sentido, no lo voy a cambiar. All right? No lo voy a cambiar, no lo necesito. ¿Por qué no lo necesito? ¿Por qué no necesito cambiar lo pasado? Porque usa la auxiliar. Excellent. That's correct, honey. There you go. Justamente, si yo tengo mi auxiliary, ya él se encarga de eso, right? Ya no paso el by al pasado. Pero ¿qué sucede en la answer? En la answer sí tengo que dar el verb in past porque ya no tengo un auxiliary y no puedo hacer uso del auxiliary, ¿all right? Entonces creo que estos factores van quedando más claros cada vez y así pues se evitan ustedes de cometer eh, alguna en confusión, basically, ¿all right? Error o equivocación, eso siempre lo vamos a hacer, ¿all right? We're not perfect, <laughs> we're learning. Pero ya evitan confundirse a ustedes mismos. So there you go, let me see. Ahora bien, yo les voy a hacer esta pregunta. How was your weekend? Let me see, Jose Carpio. How was your weekend? Okay. I was in the beach on Saturday. Excellent. Very good. You went to the beach. Excellent. Yes. Hotel Bahía del Sol. Oh, great. <laughs> Excellent, okay. sorry. Very good. Te si sabe para que es el fin de. <laughs> All right, Gracias. excellent, Jose. There you go. What about uh, Albita? So, how was your weekend, Albita? It was very busy because I I had to to work at office all Saturday, and then I drove to La Libertad. And I stayed there uh, Saturday night and Sunday with my family. That, that's good, excellent. Yeah, as per usual, Saturdays in the morning, it's really busy, right? Yes, but in this case, I I had, because just I work Monday to Friday, uh -huh. but in this moment, it's very, very, very busy and hard. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because we have to 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 evaluate the, no sé cómo se dice en ofertas para los procesos del próximo año para carreteras. The offers, the offers, ah, the offers. for promotions, también promotions. The the offers, of, mm -hmm. no maybe the offers. The offers. So. Okay. Very In this moment, I I I left the office, and I start 7 a.m. So. I'm a slave of the world. <laughs> yeah, I see it, Adalbita, but hey, look at you. You're very fluent in right now. That's great. Very fluent. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Es que estoy enojada, teacher, le voy a decir. Uy, conmigo. <laughs> no, como usted no, créanme que a mí me encanta la manera como usted enseña, pero inglés corporativo me parece que es peor 
que, una, que un banco cuando te, co te está cobrando. O sea, le right. estoy explicando qué problema tengo con la plataforma y me han dicho hoy, si no hace tal cosa a las seis de la tarde, le damos de baja, va a pagar no sé cuánto y no sé qué. O sea, lo siento mucho. <laughs> yes, Alvita, don't worry. Let me fix that, okay? I'm going to talk to my boss. Don't worry. Okay. All right, because things happen, Alvita. Remember, there are many things and they have a lot of chats. Maybe they can confuse with something, all right? <laughs> But okay. don't worry, Alvita. As per usual, it happens, right? Let me see. Very good, Alvita. Excellent. You're doing great with your English. What about Lisette Montoya? So, how was your weekend, Lisette? Este teacher, y puedo decir, I was with my old friends. Yes, yes, you can tell me directly. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was with all of my friends. <laughs> okay, yes. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. Did you have fun? Se divertió. Did you have fun? Yes, teacher. Yes. Como en los viejos tiempos. <laughs> All right, excellent, Lisa. There you go. Very good. What about Jose Vega? So, Jose, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. So, let's check, Jose. Um, <laughs> I, my weekend is good. Well, I rest on Sunday. I'm going to play soccer mm -hmm. with my family. We had a family because uh, I'm barbecue because my grandmother was having her beard day. And, <laughs> and good teacher. Good. All right. Excellent. That's great. Very good for yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Excellent. Now, listen, guys. The purpose of this uh, question, as I told you before, is for you to talk, right? Hey, miss, it was good. We had a birthday party, a barbecue, as you mentioned, right? Different things, and that's great. I'm assuming that all of you might provide, provide a lot of information, right? Yo asumo que todos ya eh, podemos dar al menos unas tres sentences hablando, right? Y uniendo nuestras ideas. And that's great. Very good. I'm happy for you. Tomorrow's class, we're going to have another review. En la clase de mañana vamos a tener un review bien especial, right? Porque vamos a ver todos los topics, de nuevo, en una manera de review, all of them. Y vamos a tratar de, de utilizarlos todos, right? Para que no se nos olvide. Now, let's move on, y'all. Complete the warm up with the words from the list. Then listen and check. Now let's get into the platform. Let me show you this video. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Les voy a proyectar este video. Quiero que se fijen bien en la pronunciation. Asumo que quizás sí, ya todos terminaron esa part. Pero igual necesito que todos chequemos la pronunciation de esto porque vamos a trabajar con esto ahorita. So let me. Okay, there you go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary. High. Junior high. Places. Classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places, you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now with this, you have this homework and maybe some of you already finished with it. 
some others not. So I have, eh, I have done already the categories, right? Ya completé yo las categories, solo para que ustedes practiquen con este vocabulary y puedan hacer uso de esto para crear sus questions. So let's get into the business. Classes. In that category, we have history, math, physical education, and science. Basically, you are talking about subjects, right? Cuando dice clases, también se puede referir a subjects, que es lo que nosotros conocemos como materias, right? Let's move on. We have schools. We have a college. We have elementary. We have high and junior high, all right? The same thing in El Salvador. We don't have a lot of, a, like, how can I say this? Levels of schools, I imagine. But most of them, we do have them, all right? The same thing for places. We have classroom, we have gym, we have lunchroom and playground, all right? Sé que aquí esto aparece como si estuviera a mano, right? Con la rayita roja, pero no, así está escrito, okay? So there you go, everybody. Let me check how many of you are doing good with the vocabulary. Let's see, Gladys Duarte, can you please tell me the vocabulary? Me regala el vocabulary? The class. Yes, classes, school, and places. Bueno. Uh, history, math, uh, ¿Cómo se dice ahí? Physical? physical education. Physical education. And science. And science. School, college, elementary. No sé ahí. High. High, junior high. Mm -hmm. Classroom, gym. Lunchroom, playroom. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Gladys. Let's go with, let me check, um, Dinora Hernandez, please. Jamie, uh, Jamie, after Dinora, Jamie, okay? Classes, history, math, physical education, science, science. Mm -hmm. schools, college, elementary, high, junior high, place, Classroom, gym, lunchroom, playroom. That's correct. Thank you, Dinara. Let's go with Jamie. Classes. History, March, physical education, science, school, college, elementary, high, junior high, place, classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. That's correct. Thank you, Jamie. Let me go with uh, Kevin Hernandez. Okay, Kevin, tell me the vocabulary. Hi. Hello, good uh, evening. Okay. Classes, history, math, physical, education, science, school, college, elementary, high, junior high, in places, classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. That's correct. Thank you, sir. And let me go with the last one, Jancy Jimenez. Okay, Jancy, tell me the vocabulary, please. Classes, history, math, physical education, science, schools, college, elementary, high, junior high, places, classroom, gym, Lunchroom, playground. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, Jansi. All right, okay. everybody. Now let's go to the following. What are we going to do? Let's see. Let me go to this part. We have this guiding examples. Si ustedes se fijaron en la tarea que tienen ahí en la platform, right? Que me imagino que quizás ya todos finalizaron, pero igual vamos a verlo ahorita. Les dice, you have to create one sentence using no, one sentence, no. You have to create as many sentences as possible using the vocabulary learned, right? That's what we're gonna do. Where did you go to college? I went to college in, I don't know, in United States. I went to college in El Salvador, right? Whatever you want to say. And then you have, what were your favorite subjects in elementary? Ah, my favorite subjects were in math and science, let's suppose, right? 
aquí pueden notar ustedes un ejemplo de cómo tienen que elaborar las de ustedes. All right. What were or what did, where did, where did you go, right? En una pueden utilizar un auxiliar y en la otra pueden hacer uso del past of be. Let's go to the practice time. Let me check. Um, Verónica Esmeralda, please tell me the instructions. Okay. Uh, practice time. Number one, work individually. Number two, Great to question using past tenses and the vocabulary learn, learn it. Number three, share your sentences. There you go, excellent, thank you. Now, all right, everybody, let's work on this one. Les voy a dejar por aquí el vocabulary para que ustedes hagan sus questions, all right? Al menos una o dos, solo para que las puedan colocar ya en su homework y también practiquen, all right? If you have questions, don't doubt, all right? You can ask me. Okay. Estas son las instructions. Si quieren que les ponga eh, los examples, me avisan, ¿ok? Cuando dice past tenses, recuerden que se refiere a ya sea el past of be o al simple past.
Finish, teacher. Excellent, there you go. Let's check some of them. All right, Lisa, tell me your questions, please. Uh, what did you do in the college? Mm -hmm. What do you do in uh, the college? Uh -huh. I studied medicine. Uh -huh. uh, number two, uh, why did you study medicine? Uh, I thought it was easier. Mm -hmm. I saw that it was easy. Pensé. Mm, all right. No sé cómo puede ser fácil, Lizeth. <laughs> but it's okay. All right. That's correct. Very good. Sí, están bien, Lizeth. Right. Let me ask. There you go. ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir conmigo sus questions? Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, yo hice dos, pero ahí me corrige, please. Okay, excellent. Um, bueno, no sé si, si. How was your work day? Yeah, that's correct. How was your work day? Okay. Um, aquí no sé si, si. What was your favorite matter in college? What was your favorite? Matter, como materia. Ah, subject. Sí, se puede decir, oh. eh, puede decir class. Oh, ah, uh, okay. El subject. Okay, okay, okay. Escribe así, mire, se lo voy a poner por aquí. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Subject. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good, Sonia. Yes, those are correct. Si están correctas. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Somebody else? Alguien más? See. What about Carla Patricia? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, where did you celebrate your birthday? Mm -hmm. Where did and, you? And what is your what did your no no teacher solo un hecho ahorita. All right, don't worry, no se preocupe, excellent. Pero con eso ya, ya está agarrando un mejor hilo, right? Okay. Excellent, very really good. Somebody else, alguien más? Que sea Yo, una. Teacher. Ajá, let's see, Jessie. Where did you study high? I studied in San Salvador. Eh, la rosería. Who was your best friend in the college? My best friend was Annie. There you go. Is that correct, okay. Nancy? Thank you. Very good. There you go. Ok, José, si quiere me dice la que tiene. Ok? No worries. No se preocupe. Pero por lo menos okay, esa no teacher. la que quiere. Eh, me dice si está correcta. Uh -huh. Dice, where did you study history? I studied history outside the country. Yes, that's correct. La pregunta y la respuesta, correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Yo, Mayra. Excellent, tell me. Bien. Dice, where do you still study? I study science. science. ¿Cómo Science. se dice ciencia? Perdón? Science. Silent mm -hmm. at, at the university. Mm -hmm. ahora la otra. Where do you go? Where do you work? I work at the gym. 
Where did, Está bien. Where did you work? ¿Dónde trabajaste? Ajá, ajá, ajá. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where did you work? Bye. Está bien. Uh -huh. Excelente. Gracias. Very good, my Anita. Creo que por ahí Kevin abrió su micrófono. No sé si era porque quería darme sus sentences. Kevin Hernández. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello there. ¿Será que está bien si digo, where did you go to hobby? Y contestar como, I went to uh, hobby, go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to hobby? No se puede porque hobby no es un lugar. Y cuando pregunta, where do you go? Es para preguntar el lugar, right? O la acción que va a ejercer. ¿Qué quiere preguntar ahí? Kevin. Ah, de acuerdo. Eh, ¿A dónde era tu pasatiempo favorito? Por decirlo. De esa manera. Sería con la... Con, con el ejemplo 2, ¿verdad? Como, what, what were you hobby? Uh -huh. Or where is, where was your favorite hobby? ¿Dónde era tu pasatiempo favorito? Right? Where was, ah, uh -huh. ya. Yeah. Solo que pasatiempo, Kevin, recuerde que es algo que usted hace constantemente, right? Tal vez no tiene una localización constante, una localización en sí, pero sí es algo que usted hace constantemente. So there you go. Other than that, it's correct, Kevin. Thank you. Now, everybody, sadly, we don't have any more time to continue with this. We're gonna pass to the last exam, right? the final exam. If we got the time at the end of the class, we're going to continue with this one. If not, tomorrow, do not worry. Tomorrow we have a lot of time to work with these topics, right? Sea que continuemos trabajando ahora con esa práctica o mañana, lo importante es que ustedes continúen en eso, right? Para que no se nos olvide y tampoco se nos vaya blanqueando el, el, el knowledge, right? El conocimiento. So let's go to the last exam or final exam in any case. Okay, so listen, yo ya había hecho el last exam, el final exam, all right? <laughs> so let me go with this one. Eh, puse estas que son las que no son, all right? Así que básicamente ustedes ya solo tienen two options para realizarlo. Eh, asumo que la mayoría de ustedes tal vez ya lo finalizó, pero igual vamos a hacerlo y los que ya lo finalizaron me pueden ir ayudando, okay? So what are we going to do next? We're going to listen to the following audio. I'm going to play the audio, listen carefully, and then we are going to check the answers, okay? Let's listen. La primera vez lo vamos a escuchar nada más. La segunda vez vamos a ir parando para ir contestando. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on Second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up Second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. All Four. Right. Let's wait. What are you going to buy for your father? 
I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, now it's finished. Now, let's get into the audio again, everybody. If you already have the answers, you're going to help me. If not, try to focus on the answer and then you will help me. Okay, here we go. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, so for you guys, where are Helen and Mark going? Let's see. Number one, a bank in a department store. Department store. Very good, Jose. Excellent. Let's check. Vamos a asumir que eso es All right. Let me see. Let's go to number two. Let's listen to it. Two. Uh oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. So, what's the answer for number two, everybody? On the corner of 1st and Main. Excellent. Very good. There you go, that's correct, all right? No se preocupen si ahorita sienten que hay muy enredado, mis, porque todos hablamos. All right, solo va a ser en esta parte. Después voy a ir uno con uno, all right? Let's go with number three. Let's listen to it. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes, then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? So for number three, how do you get there? We'll wake up, second, second main, to main, turn, turn right. right. Excellent. Really good. There you go. Thank you. And let's go with the, the last one, all right? Let me go. Excellent. I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. All right, so what is Mark going to buy? A sweater. Exactly. Sweater. That's correct. Let's zoom in. And hey, what happened over here? That is the right one. No. Let's see. Woke up. Is woke up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Excellent, Carlita. Thank you. And that's the correct one. All right, everybody. There you go. Uh, excellent job. If you already did this listening, it was pretty peculiar, right? Because it was kind of easy. But at the same time, you needed to really pay attention to what they were saying, all right? So excellent job. Let's go to the following. Let me close this one. And let's go to the next part. B, complete the sentences. Now in this one, we have the map. We only have three, which is pretty easier, all right? So let's get into the business with this one. The department store, the department store is, let me check. We it's have next this to the bank. Uh -huh, okay. Next to the bank. Thank you, Alveda. That's correct. 
And what about a coffee shop? Let me check. I really, I didn't find Alan Al's coffee shop, but let me check what the options that we have. What are the options that we have? We have across from, on, between, next to, on the corner of. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que? Across from. Okay, let me see. Across from. Okay, let's push that one. And where is Maria's restaurant? Maria's restaurant is um, on between, on the corner of the main street and second avenue. Where do you think it is? The on the corner. Okay. On the corner of. Let's check. Yeah. Very good, excellent deal. That's great. Indeed, you have the correct answers. Let's move on. Let's go with letter C. Were your parents born in the US? All right. Remember, si solo tienen la U y la S es US. Si ya tienen la A es USA. Now it says select the answer for each question. Were your parents born in the US? Let me see. Voy a preguntar directly. What about Kenya Mejibar? Let's see, Kenya. ¿Cuál de estas options cree usted que es la correcta? For number one. Uh, uh, no, they were, my parents were born in Japan. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Kenya. Mayra Lopez, what do you think is the answer for number two? Where did you grow up? You have no, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998. It was a little scary and I grew up in Tokyo. Mm. Not say where my parents were born and happened. Mm. Mm. Let's see, where did you grow up? Aquí ya le está preguntando a usted, right? Let's get into the business. Let me see, Jancy Jimenez. What do you think is the correct option? Number two. Uh -huh. Number two. Uh, where uh, you... I grew up in I grew up in Tokyo. In Tokyo. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with number three. Sonia, uh, who was your first English teacher? Oh. Um, my first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you, Sonia. Let's go with Jose Vega. Jose, when did you come to New York? Mm, I came to New York in 1998. Uh -huh. Thank you. And let me check. Mm, you see. Elizabeth Campos, how was your first day in the US? Ya solo tenemos una opción disponible, Elizabeth. It was a little scary. Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. Let's submit everybody. Very good, excellent. Un tip que les puedo dar yo, que de seguro les funciona a ustedes, right? No es solo ver la estructura gramatical que tiene, sino también ver dónde está localizado el subject, a cuál subject se está refiriendo, right? Para así saber cuál answer es la que podemos proveer. Very good job, excellent. Let's move on to the next one. 
um, match the verbs to the nouns. So let me see a uh, Jose Carpio for had. ¿Cuál de estos nouns le aplicaría had? Okay, Alba Aguilar, which of these nouns can we use with have? Had a picnic. Uh -huh. That's correct, thank you. Dinora Hernandez, if I'm using played, ¿qué noun puedo utilizar? Uh -huh. <laughs> intenten, intenten. Oh no, we don't have it. Let's go with Lisette Montoya. If I have played, ¿qué noun okay. puedo utilizar? Uh, tennis. Tennis. Right. Excellent, thank you. If I'm using took, let me check uh, Jamie. ¿Cuál noun puedo utilizar? ¿Cuál noun, perdón? Sería fotos. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And then let me check. Mayra Lopez, if I'm using went, what noun can I use? A ver. Mm. Es que es. Es, fue verdad, entonces sería fue un picnic. Picnic. Mm, Ay, number picnic. one, we had a picnic, tener un picnic. Yes. Had a picnic. Mm -hmm. okay. a picnic. Mm -hmm. Solo nos hace falta, déjeme ver, solo nos hace falta. Okay. Okay. ¿Ah? We have swimming and a play. Okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you. And the last one. So, the correct one it should be a player, right? Ustedes vieron cómo se recuerda esa parte donde conjugamos los verbs with the nouns. Let's do it. There you go. Excellent. All right, everybody. You can take uh, your screenshots or you can take notes if you're going to continue with the midterm exam today. It's not the midterm exam, it's the final exam, all right? Now let's go to the next part. It says, select the correct form of the verb. Number one, A, let's see. Um, Jose Vega, what do you have for number one? Did you have or did you have or you had? And did you have? Excellent, thank you. Dinora Hernandez, not really. I studied, study or stayed. <laughs> Let's see. Una de estas está mala porque de plano sí está mala. Study. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Sí. Excellent. Jamie, number two, did they anything last weekend? Uh, did they did or did they do? Uh, did they did? Are you sure, honey? No, did they do? Ah, excellent. Very really good. And Sonia del Transito, number two, one, B. Yes, they went. Go or go it? Let's see, Sonia, your microphone. No, I don't have it. Uh -huh. Yes, they? Yes, they... Oi. Ay, le digo yo. Recuerda que ya necesitamos un verb en pasado y ahí tiene tres. ¿Cuál es el que está en pasado? Uh, go ahead. Are you sure? 
¿Se recuerda que teníamos los irregular verbs, que eran los verbos que no se escribían iguales en la forma pasada? Es decir, que no solo ah, se les agregaban. Ah, 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 Uh, went. Mm -hmm, that's correct. Thank you. Mayra Lopez, number three. Did she get anything at the mall or did she get or did she got? Por favor, eh, ponga la opción. Gracias. Uh -huh. did, did she have it? Okay. Did she get mm -hmm. it you? Mm -hmm. And the last one, let me see. Alba Aguilar. No, she went shopping, but she... But she didn't buy anything. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. There you go, everybody. Those are the correct answers. All right, everybody. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, let me go to the next part. Oh, this, is, this was the next part. The next part. <laughs> okay, now in this one, it is, a, it is a reading. So I think we're gonna make it tomorrow, right? Mañana ya solo lo vamos a hacer como base de review. Y espero que ustedes puedan finalizar ahora su final exam porque ya hicimos todas las demás partes, okay? All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, goodbye. Bye, Bye teacher. See you. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow.